15 push-ups? My 15-year-old son plays basketball and he told me his coach gave him 15 push-ups for fooling around. How can I stop his coach from abusing him like this in the future? Okay. Okay, well, first off, I don't think that is abuse at all. Um, if they're fooling around, then they need to be shown that you can't be fooling around when other people are trying to take it seriously, especially if someone's trying to do a job. At the same time, um, if you don't want your child to do that kind of stuff, give a sign no. Like, sign off and talk with them. You can take that approach. Like, if this is something that the child actually doesn't want to do, then talk with their teacher about it. Might be able to sort something out. Can approach this in multiple ways. Hello and welcome to Calbus. My name is Zen, and today we're taking a delve into a fun subreddit. R slash facepalm. A subreddit where you just share the stupidity of individuals online and IRL. That's me reading the subreddit description verbatim. So let's just jump straight in, shall we? I never thought of that. I wish we could use laughing emojis in real life. Or you could just freaking laugh. <laughs> this has to be a joke. This has to be satire in some way. There is no way someone just sat there and thought, man, if only there was a real life equivalent to a laughing emoji. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. The concept of it is just breaking me a little bit. Oh. <laughs> That's the UK Parliament. Oh boy, here, here we go. If $15 an hour is too much for minimum wage, then $85 an hour is too much to pay our senators to literally do nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay, look. That is the House of Commons. That is the UK government. A lot of... Look, look they, they're, they're very busy. They're very busy doing important law things. They do governmental things. They they, they need to have their nappy time. Mmm. If you if you watch like the daily House of Commons stuff, or if you like watch any of that kind of stuff, it's normally very boring and goes on for a very long time. <laughs> I, I kinda can't blame, but at the same time, they should be not be doing this when they are paid that much. They should not. I just watched a woman drink laundry detergent at Walmart. Don't do that. Bottled her mouth in the aisle. I said nothing. But when we made eye contact, she just gasped and was like, I'm going to buy it. Bro, I'm not worried about you buying it. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that immediate response of just like, oh, no, I got caught. Uh, 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 excuse, excuse. <laughs> not for that. Like, it can't taste good. Like, they must have known they messed up the wrong bottle. <laughs> Where you at? Boyfriend with no social media. Where you at? How the hell is he gonna see this? <laughs> Let's go through the thought process of this for just one moment. Just one moment. It doesn't work! It doesn't work! Dear God, social media is a blight and we should all revert back to not having it. It just gave the opportunity for everyone just to see how stupid so many people are. I... <laughs> okay, water, do your thing. Oh my, what, what happened? <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, if whatever happened, I'm not sure that's how that's gonna work. Uh, buddy. <laughs> Buddy, you might need to open it. You might need to spray it in there a little bit. It's not like it's a grenade. It's not gonna just go boof and just put it out. <laughs> Fire sees bottle of water come in. Oh crap, time to leave. Um, just remembering the time a patient's boyfriend came in with her, concerned about a lump he found down there, which turned out to be a. <laughs> well, it is safe to say. Uh, with this most likely and most definitely uh, humiliating experience for everyone involved, he definitely found where it is now, and he's not gonna forget anytime soon. <laughs> Haunted house moments. Oh, getting chased by something, getting chased by something. He's just <laughs> okay. Well, you're clearly taken. Given up. He's given up. He's <laughs> join it. Is it locked? Is it? Um. <laughs> oh my 
god. <laughs> oh my god. I oh, that's so good. That is so good. <laughs> Just the personality in the movements of the body. Oh, this is fantastic. I need to send this to a few people right now. <laughs> I can guarantee that dude was laughing his ass off all the way back to the stuff room. <laughs> that happened. How to get that smell out of my gamer chair? Oh god, where is this going? A common problem that most people have, most, I'm assuming, is that their gaming chair start to smell. No, mine has started to smell of poo- Oh, dude. I, I don't want to read on. This is very unpleasant and my girlfriend has started whining about it recently, which makes me angry. Makes you angry? <laughs> what is boiling just reading this? I've tried wiping it down with wet wipes and the smell doesn't seem to leave. Any advice? How do you guys get rid of the smell? Improve your hygiene. Sitting on things should not generate smell like that at all with proper hygiene. Wow. A very judgmental community here. Dude. Dude. It's a gaming chair. It's not a commode. If it's started to smell of poo, you should... How often... How long are your gaming sessions? <laughs> My dude. Please. This is... This is gross. <laughs> See a doctor. Adults who still drink milk. Are you okay? Unless you're a hungry baby drinking milk on its own, it's unsettling behavior by Daisy Jones in London. What is this really bad hot take kind of thing? Like, we, we can all crap on, like, uh, we can all crap on journalism because let's face it, it's, a, it's just a joke at this point. Like, there is, I have not seen just, like, any good source of just solid journalism in such a long time. Oh, ice, you fell off hard. <laughs> what is this? Fetuses are humans too. No, not like that. Pregnant Texas woman says unborn child is second passenger after being pulled over for driving in HOV lane. <laughs> <laughs> in Plano, Texas, one woman is fighting a recent traffic ticket with the argument that her unborn child should count as a second passenger. It's posted on r slash facepalm. The poster, I'm ho I, I want to know which direction they're taking this because I'm in favor of the woman because considering what's happened recently with the laws and stuff, I, j I just see this as a malicious compliance and I'm all for it. They, ca they can't have it both ways. They cannot have it both ways like this. Woman struggles to use self-checkout because of her extremely long nails getting in the way. What are those worm on a string looking nails? What? Okay, I, I'm I'm sorry, but yeah, <laughs> I, I yeah no, I, I don't get it. I don't get this. Like I understand people like using acrylic nails to just like accessorize and like look have that get that certain look. I don't understand it myself, and this is just unsettling. This is just <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, clearly you're just not even trying at that point. Okay, you did it. For, I, I'm assuming you did it for a bit. Um, take your change because there's probably people waiting behind you. Move on. Murica really gunning for least educated. Oh god, where's this going? A new bill in Oklahoma proposes to charge teachers personally from their own personal resources 10 grand per incident per individual if they teach any biology that offends Christian moral principles. Things are clearly not okay and okay. New! Iowa Republicans have introduced a bill that would put government-installed cameras in every single classroom to livestream school activities for parents to spy on teachers and children at all times of the day. There is a lot. There, There is a lot that was I just read. There is a lot that I do not agree with. And yeah, what is going on? Like, what is going on over there? Please, just... Just calm down, would you please just calm down over there for like, just one day. Found on r slash Tinder, Facebook dating. Anyway, I'm changing the way I'm navigating the dating scene now. I list off my deal breakers and you list off yours so that we don't waste time exchanging unnecessary text, calls, dates, etc. 
by deal breakers. Democrats, atheists, no higher education, no successful passionate career. I've not been jobless since I started working at 17 years old. I make 175 grand a year at 28 and expect to be able to live on equal lifestyle with you. Already has children, shorter than me, non-foodies, heavy drug or alcohol use, current or future marijuana user, mm. <laughs> introverted, has debt or is financially irresponsible, doesn't want kids, no health insurance, incompatible zodiac signs, I'm a Pisces, anger issues, extremely overweight or underweight, younger than me, doesn't have a good relationship with his family, not a dog person, antisocial, no romantic chemistry, to be decided IRL sparkles. I get it. I get it. Like spending a lot of energy and a lot of time just dating lots of people. And let's face it, it's not easy to like, it's not the easiest to find dates for some people. Let's be real about it. This is just, if you find someone, you find someone and you know that they're going to be a match. You just know it because let's face it. <laughs> That's an, ex that's an extreme comparison chart. <laughs> Woo. Directionally challenged, I would think. <gasps> what the hell? What? <laughs> I need to have brain cells to finish work today. I am not going to try and delve into this. I'm just going to let this flow over me. I am not going down this rabbit hole. Not today. <laughs> not today. Picasso was alive when Snoop Dogg was born. Picasso died in 1973. No one freaking talked to me. I thought this man lived in the 1500s. I'm going to be real. I didn't really learn about Picasso all that much in school. I didn't really look up and explore into, you know, his deep lore. Uh, I, I thought he was like in the 1800s. I'm, I'm going to be real. But now I know. Now I know. We never talk about this again. The title says it all. This from BBC News, so you know it's reputable. Disabled. <laughs> disabled woman find more than one grand for parking in disabled spot. Sure. Sure thing. Why? Yeah, sure. If this was on your bingo card for 2022, congratulations! That's another square ticked off. <sighs> Daddy sticker chart. Oh, just the look on his face. Just, just, just the looks on their faces kind of says this all. I'm sorry, but if you need to use a system like this, there is something fundamentally wrong. Like, you should not be using, like, a punishment slash incentive system like this. As adults, this is like a child's thing. This is just demeaning, I would say. Like, if the dude can't do, like, basic stuff around the house to help out, then yeah, he's in the wrong. Get that stuff sorted out. You're an adult. You're a person. You should be carrying your weight in a relationship and a household. But this ain't the way. This ain't it, chief. This ain't it. And that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you like the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing. Or hey, maybe even sharing with a friend. Actually, don't. Not maybe. Not maybe. Just do. Please do. Share with a friend. They'll like it as well. If you want to see some more r slash facepalm, then stick around a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, I have been your host Zen. Hope to see you in the very next Calbus video. Great rest of your day.